bone dry and sunny all day as soon as I pop out for one hour to make a quick video. Pause down the rain. Well, I've never been a lover of the jet boil style of stoves. I think they're quite big, they're quite bulky, they're quite heavy as well. And if you look at jet boil themselves, they're incredibly expensive. And there's other versions of them out there. There's the APG, there's the Fire Maple, uh, and also there's the Planet X, along with some others. Now you can also go on AliExpress and buy some cheap copy versions on there, and they are generally around the sort of £30 mark. So once you look at the tax and delivery, maybe £35, £38 for what is essentially a copy of a jet ball, but maybe with not as many as specifications that a jet ball comes with. But I've decided to take the plunge. And the reason why is because Planet X have got their version of the jet boil, including the cafetiere, so you've got a French press coffee in it, for £22. Now, there is also a discount code, so when you go to order it, you can see at the top, you put in the discount code, and you get 10% off of it, so it brings it down to less than £20. Including delivery, I think it was £22.40 that I paid for it. And I did buy this myself, but for 20 quid, I don't think you can go wrong. Now, this isn't as light as the jet boil, but it has more features with it than the majority of the jet balls when you look at each one individually. So this is the Planet X Jobsworth. Um, it is a 750ml pot. Inside here I've got a can of gas, I've got the burner itself and also the gas canister stand. Um, it has a lid on the top which has a pour spout and a steam, um, steam holes in it as well to let the steam off. And that red dot in the middle there, you can screw uh, the cafetiere press into that the red dot pops out so you can make a nice French press coffee as well. Now the jet balls weigh about 370 grams, so in comparison this weighs 408. Not a huge amount more, but for 20 quid as opposed to 130 quid, I know you can get them cheaper in some places, that's a massive bargain. And in that price it includes the cafetiere as well, and that's generally optional in most of these sorts of cook sets. Now I haven't weighed it with the cafetiere in it because I probably won't take it out, but also you've got to take it all apart and put it together inside so that it fits neatly. So at the moment I've just got this with the gas canister inside it and that's it. Now the jet boil may be faster at boiling water, but I'm not in it for a race. I don't really care if I get to eat my food 30 seconds before or after my colleague who I'm out camping with. It doesn't really matter. Yes, it's nice not to have to wait forever, but a few seconds here and there isn't really a big killer for me. What is a big killer for me is an additional 100 quid for what is essentially the same thing. Now this comes with a foam cover as well, so you can pick it up and hold it, keep your hands warm, it's not going to burn you. Uh, it has a the fins on the bottom, very much the same as a jet boil, uh, and it also has a piezo igniter uh, on this stove as well, which I know a lot of the jet boils don't come with. So inside here at the moment I've got the gas canister stand, the stove itself, and as you can see here, the piezo igniter. Now you've got a regulator valve on the side, which controls for a slow simmer or a full burn. <clears throat> now hopefully you can see in here, there are markings at 250, 500 and 750 mil. This will obviously take 800 mil, but you don't want to be boiling it over the top, so 750 is a recommended. As of all of these types of stove, obviously it just screws onto your gas canister. This is a 100 gram gas canister, and that clips onto the gas canister stand and there are two double cutouts for a larger gas canister as well so you can put a 200 gram gas canister on it. This has little notches on the side uh, and the stove itself or the pot itself has got little cutouts so you basically drop these in, turn it, that locks it, holds it in place, nice and steady. So for all you speed freaks out there who want to know how quickly it will boil half a litre of water, let's get it done. Okay, so 500 millilitres, half a litre of cold water. Stop watch on. Now 
Okay, so that ball so quick, it caught me off the mark a little bit there. So it was less than two minutes and 20 seconds for a half a litre. It was over in no time at all. So if you're worried about speed, I wouldn't be with this. Now I'm not one for wasting water, so uh, be rude not to have a coffee while I'm here. Years. Now hopefully the background noise hasn't been too annoying on this video. I have very limited time in which I can get out and do a quick video like this. And obviously I get here it pours down with rain, so I'm hiding under trees. The little woodland that I go to is next to a waste recycling centre. And as soon as I got here they decided to start uh, emptying all the skips. So there's banging and crashing around. And then on the other woodlands, on the other side, there are the marines who are firing guns. And then next to me is a field and whilst I'm film filming, a massive great tractor comes along and starts digging up the earth. Can't win, eh? The peace and quiet of the countryside. It's just a short video, I'm gonna go now before I get absolutely soaked. If you do wanna buy this Planet X jet boil copy, I'll put a link in the description below. It's not an affiliated link. I don't think they can do it any cheaper than they are now. Um, but if you like the video, then uh, hit the thumbs up as always. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next one.